compact design of the new Laser Tools 6728 brake pipe flaring tool means that it is particularly suited to on-vehicle use, making it very convenient and a real time saver. Attempting to replace a brake flexible hose and the steel pipe that's connected to brakes off. A typical workshop problem. To save time we will make up a repair section in copper pipe and then connect this to the existing steel pipe. Go back to a straight section of the steel brake pipe and cut off the damaged portion. The set includes dies and punches for the two most common brake pipe sizes, 4.7 size millimeter and 3 16 inch diameter, and can produce both DIN single flares and SAE double flares. We will be using 4.75 millimeter pipe this time. Fit the pipe stop plug into the tool, then slide in the pipe until it stops. This ensures that the pipe is in the correct position for the flaring operation. Then tighten up the three clamping bolts. Remove the pipe stop plug, then choose the DIN convex punch, as we need a DIN single flare for the copper pipe repair section. Adequately lubricate the punch and its threads with the special grease supplied, then screw the punch into the tool. Now continue screwing in the punch with a spanner or socket until the hex of the punch stops flush with the tool. Withdraw the punch, slacken off the clamp bolts, and then release the pipe. The result is a perfect DIN convex single flare. The pipe is shaped, tube nuts added, and with a second flare, the repair section is complete. Now prepare and deburr the end of the steel pipe on the car. Then slide on the union. With the pipe stop plug fitted to the tool, slide it over the steel pipe until it stops. Again, tighten up the three clamp bolts, then remove the pipe stop plug. This time we are going to produce a double flare, and this is a two-stage operation. Choose the double-ended punch. One side is marked OP1 for Operation 1. Pay attention to the direction of the arrow and fit to the tool. Again, screw in the punch until the hex of the punch stops flush with the tool. We are now ready for the second operation on this double flare. So turn the punch around so that the opposite end is facing into the tool. Once the second operation is complete, release the clamp bolts to reveal your perfect double flare. Now the repair section can be fitted to the steel brake pipe and we can get on with the original job of fitting the new flexible hose.